Hello my friends, today we are doing Titan 2 tier list. Oh my god, are you gross bro? Yes I am dude star, because we're doing types of poo today. Let's jump straight into our number 5 spot. At our number 5 spot guys, we have constipation. I know what you're thinking, what are you on about Louis? How is constipation at number 5? Well I think it's actually pretty self explanatory to be honest, because uh, nobody really wants to have constipation. Nobody wants to be, you know, pushing veins and squeezing, squeezing that horrible liquid fudge. Oh sorry. Not liquid fudge. It is uh, anything but liquid. It is rock hard. It's like pushing out gravel between your two big meaty lumps. It's not nice. It's not good. It's uh, definitely number five spot. Coming in at number four, we have shit yourself wet fart poo. I know what you're thinking. How on earth is shitting, literally shitting yourself above constipation? Well, shitting yourself can just be funny. You can, out with, you can be out with friends. Oh, wet fart poo and shit myself. And it's a good laugh. It's a good joke. And you know, sometimes there's good situations for this. Say if I'm playing a game of uh, Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, I'm about to win. I'm about to win this uh, 1v1. Oh, but if I've got constipation poo, I can't just let that thing, you know, sit. I've really got to think, shit, bro. I've got to go try and squeeze and push this out. However, on the contrary, if I have a wet fart shit yourself poo, in there, there's a wet fart shit poo that needs to come out and I'm gaming. All I've got to do is just go... Oh yeah, wet fat shit poo, shit myself. Oh yeah, I can carry on playing now. The wet fat shit yourself poo is a uh, number four spot, guys. I actually quite like this one. It's warm in winter. It smells, it stinks, it's funny, it's a joke, it's a laugh, it's a practical gag. Coming in at number three, we have literal diarrhea poo. Oh, is this guy gross? Well, it is a tier list about types and forms of shit. So of course this tier list is going to be filled with poo. But uh, yes, we have diarrhea poo at our number three spot. Why on earth is it there? Well, let me inform you. Diarrhea poo can also be uh, unsettling at times. You know, ooh, sore bottom, stinging bottom, not good. But you've got to think, what comes with a diarrhea poo? A nice takeaway the night before, a curry, a kebab. There's nice food, so that you know you give some and you get some. Diarrhea poo as well is also a lot quicker in and out than a constipation. I run in, I put, I, you know, sometimes, it, bro, it starts coming out before you even take your pants off. You can easily shit yourself, so it's clearly above wet fart shit yourself poo because it's double whammy. Not only can I have a really quick shit and just flush it all out instantly, I can also choose to do it in my pants and I get nice takeaway the night before to get my diarrhea poo. It's a win-win-win. Number three. Number two, we have massive log hog shit, dump shit, crap poo. What is this about? This is just your generic standard poo, but with a twist. It's a massive dump, one you can be proud of. Post it on your Snapchat, post it on Snap Maps, post it on Instagram Reels, show it everywhere. Show it to your family, send it in a birthday card. Massive log hog dump shit poo is great. Something to be proud of. You push it out, it slides out nicely. It lays there in the bog like a, like a trophy. A trophy of waste. Although this waste-filled package may stink, it may smell, it may be grimy, you can look at it in awe as you stand there admiring and inhaling all the aromas it's giving off. Not only is it great for that, it's also great as an icebreaker. You're on Tinder, you're on Hinge, you match a girl. You know, you don't want to be like the rest of the guys, do you? Hey, how are you? What are you doing? I'm bored. What about you? I know who I'm talking to here. You can go down the other route. What can you do? You can send a photo of your massive, steaming, hot, smelly, sticky shit and say, hmm, look what I've laid today. I've laid a log. And she might say, hmm, right, well, where have you done that then? Say, oh, in bog. Oh, what have you had to eat then? Ham sandwich. I've got IBS, okay? Don't judge. Icebreaker. It's good. It's nice. Irritable bowel syndrome. Mm-hmm. That's right, I said it. Anyway, guys, that's number two. Sticky, steaming, shit, stinking, poo, fucking log, shit, dump, crap. At number one, and I'm sure you guys all knew this was coming, it is the motherfucking ghost wipe. This is when you go for a poo, you sit down, it comes out nicely, you're scrolling TikTok, you're playing Clash Royale, you're having a good time, or you go to wipe your ass, one fucking wipe, you look at the bitch, and there's nothing on it, not a single shit stain on it. You think, God damn, have I been blessed by the angels? In fact, you haven't. You just haven't been drinking enough water, you scruffy bastard. Stop living off frozen food and rustlers burgers. And maybe you'll have a number two or a number three. Anyway, we all know the feeling when you finish with your massive, horrible, steaming shit. And there's nothing to wipe. Not only is it great because it's satisfying 
and amazing. It's also cost efficient. You're saving toilet paper, which is saving you money. It's great for everyone. It's great for the environment. It's great for the toilet paper. It's great for the pipes that's carrying your horrible steaming shit down to the sewage. It's great, it's amazing. Anyway guys, that was the steaming sticky shit, hot poo shit, fucking cunt bitch shit, fuck. Uh, types of poo tier list. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, I hope you're watching this while eating. If you're eating right now, imagine it's hot steaming shit. My sticky shit. Mmm. Drop a like for steaming sticky shit. Drop a subscribe for hot smelling poo. And drop a comment for hot steaming diarrhea fart shit your pants wet fart poo tier list. Mm-hmm. Peace guys. See you later.